Governor Tony Evers addressing criticism for not having any policies at his office that ban workplace relationships between supervisors and staffers. This issue was raised after the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel first reported Evers chief of staff is dating a senior employee who she directly supervises. CBS 58 Capital correspondent Emily Fannin spoke exclusively with the governor on camera about this. She has the story from Madison. Both houses of the legislature, the UW system, and many other employers do have strict guidelines in place that prohibit relationships between supervisors and subordinates. So I asked Governor Evers why he doesn't hold his employees to a similar standard. I know the people that, that uh, the media are attacking, and uh, they're, they're both good workers, and uh, I appreciate them being part of the team. Governor Tony Evers is defending his office for not having any formal policies restricting supervisors from engaging in romantic relationships with staffers. Of the 30 or so employees who work for Evers, it recently became known his chief of staff, Maggie Gao, is dating a senior employee who she directly supervises. The governor told CBS 58 the relationship shouldn't concern anyone even though some labor attorneys say it could lead to claims of sexual harassment, favoritism, or other workplace disruptions. I base my analysis of what their worth is to the governor's office on their performance, not who they're married to, who they're not married to, or anything. And so I think we can get by without, a, without a, some sort of uh, thing that invades people's privacy. It's as simple as that. Many other employees who work at the Capitol are subject to strict guidelines. The Assembly and Senate's policy says any relationship between supervisors and subordinates are not allowed. It goes on to say these relationships may give rise to legal and ethical concerns. Evers expressed doubts the relationship is creating a difficult environment in his office after the Journal Sentinel reported some employees felt they couldn't raise concerns to Gao about her partner. I don't believe that. Frankly, I've never had a worker come to me and I'm in the office often enough that they could have said, you know, that they had people had some problems with it. In Madison, Emily Fannin, CBS 58 News.